Hey, Spuddies! Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Civilization VI, where we are playing as Abraham Lincoln. In a very interesting little build here, so we're starting to get all our coal power plants up. I think we do want to get our military academies. I think we might go for a science victory here. Um, we do have a really good spot for a spaceport. Now, why is this spot really, really good? It's because it's, it's adjacent to a diplomatic quarter, which will give it plus one defense against spies. So I think that might be how we win the game. I would still like to conquer Arabia. I think that kind of fits into my game plan just for fun. We have yet to unlock the zoo. Could bid build Taj Mahal. I don't think I will. But yeah, gen general plan is to uh, see if we can get oil, see if we can get... Oh, well, yeah, we were building settlers, actually. Um, to try and get out here to get the oil in the ocean. So let me have a look at where we might settle. So I'll definitely settle you. And then there's two oil here. So I'd like to get that. So there's definitely a city right there. There's some oil over here. So we'll settle on that one. A little bit of oil theoretically that we could grab in this city too. And I suppose if we're settling the one tile islands, we may as well settle the two tile islands as well. So where do I want to build an extra district? I don't really see a need to make use of Ada Lovelace right now. So I'm just going to hold on to her. I think that's a totally valid plan. And sometimes you just can't find a use for something. So just, you know, keep it in your repertoire. Don't don't burn it yet. I'm getting some nice pillages off here, which it feels good. So he's still begging me for peace, but I've absolutely no interest in peace. Okay, right. We got the first building in every encampment for the first time. Knowledge of chemistry is boosted. Let's keep destroying these districts. This bombard has taken enough damage. We'll take a moment to heal up. We are missing... A potential bombard merge. So let me just go ahead and quickly buy a bombard to merge with this guy. And then can you get out of the way like this? So now that we have the military academy, I don't think we're going to bother building a dam in St. Louis. It's not adjacent to any industrial zone, so it doesn't seem completely necessary. I'll just quickly grab a spy. Spies, trade routes, envoys, these are all part of your vertical your vertical prog progression, so it's important to get them. Um, I'm kind of disturbed that I haven't seen an industrial city-state. My exploration has been rather poor this game, if I'm totally honest with you. If I could get control of somewhere like Bologna, uh, this would actually give me a lot of information about the other continents. So I am tempted to go ahead and start building up my relationship with Bologna. Plus, it's the only scientific city-state in the entire game, and um, which seems, seems particularly relevant. Looks like we've got battleships hitting Cairo. Let's pull these guys back to a safer position. Do a little bit of fortification. This city's flipping in seven turns, so I don't even know what they're going to do. Um, when it flips. We might be able to take it out easier, depending on what happens. But yeah, we're starting to pre-build some cuirassiers to be turned into tanks. University's coming online. Let's quickly grab the military academy. We never built our commercial hub here. I think it totally makes sense to build that. We're a little bit light on production. I think I can kill this mine, though. I think it's totally safe for me to do that. Um, we'll slap down a commercial hub. Boom. Right, coal power plants are firing up. Let's quickly get the bank and the university in here. We want that gold. We want that science. First wave of settlers heading out to grab oil for us, which is important. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I've been getting into sea shanties lately. I mean, I've always been kind of into sea shanties. I've always enjoyed, I've always enjoyed little sea shanty. You know, I feel like, I, I, you know, I was genuinely shocked that people first exposure to sea shanties was probably like Assassin's Creed, uh, Black Flag. I've been listening to that shit for forever. Right, let's see if we could take on these failed cannons before they become too much of an issue. We got rid of those bad boys. Our bombards are healing up. We're about to have artillery online. We got ourselves another little spy. Any cash stealing? Yeah, or literally only they. I wonder how the AI has positive gold without ever really building harbors or commercial hubs. That's always a bit sus to me. Well, who's ahead of me technologically? It looks like uh, Nzinga is ahead of me technologically. So I think she's a good place to start stealing a bit of tech. So I'll head over to Kabasa. That's Kabasa, not Kilbasa. Right, we can start chopping Detroit to get it online. We have all the basic buildings in here. Taking a look at the city, I reckon there's an aqueduct going down there. There's probably an industrial zone going down there. Um, I would say there's a campus going right there. We've got ourselves a commercial hub going right there. So that's probably like the perfect setup for us. This is like the perfect combo. Uh, so we'll lay down the commercial hub first, I guess, because that's the tile that's not yet chopped. And we'll keep sending more builders over here to get Detroit up and running. We are starting now to get to the point where we can actually damage this city significantly with a uh, line infantry army so it might be about time that we consider a full force push on the city to see if we can make a difference now i know they always say never go full force but i think today we'll be going full force there is steel so we have artillery unlocked now here's a cool thing about uh flanking so let's see i'm attacking this guy right and i have 92 combat strength and i'm getting a lot of that from flanking if i move this guy here I now have 95 combat strength. So it's actually really, really important to move your units adjacent to a unit you're going to attack before you attack. I kind of forget to do it all the time. So I totally forgive you guys for that. Um, I need this artillery to start firing. But if this artillery can start hitting the city, then we're in good shape. So I definitely want to unlock combustion, mainly so that I can get to the offshore oil rig. 
But I would like to pre-build some tanks first. Although I guess that doesn't matter. If I have no oil in the bank, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, another settler is complete. So that's one, two, three settlers, four settlers. That's one, two, three, four, five cities that are going to be going up over here. Let's call it... That's our fifth settler. Right. Happy days. Do I start... I think I start attacking this turn to try and just bring the health of the city down to where we can maybe make a difference. You have a promotion. I think rocket scientist is a reasonable one. Being able to disrupt enemy uh, space race projects seems like it would be quite valuable to me. Even though I think I'm kind of ahead in the space race. I don't have the most science, but I will once I get research labs. I mean, there's a hundred science or so locked up in Arabia's land. So let's blast the city and then keep attacking. Can we get the kill now? Oh, lovely. We finally captured Halab. So the siege of Halab went on for nearly a hundred years but now we have full control of it and we're getting close to taking urbanization now what did we actually capture in the city halab looks like we got a campus and a holy site um, and we pillaged the hell out of this city so we'll need a builder in here i think i'll quickly buy a builder oh we have a builder so we can run around repairing and improving our tiles we got a factory in baltimore let's get a coal power plant we'll soon have massive armies of infantry another settler on the way to the front line um, so that's all the settlers handle i'll grab myself another couple of builders although i think it might be good to actually quickly crack out a couple of cuirassiers in here before we um, upgrade to combustion and get tanks right let's go ahead and chop this rainforest you need to own this forest then we'll chop that forest to finish that we'll build the market chop here to finish the market get the bank up we have a trade route available i'll put that into boston because boston is my coastal trading city so the city of cairo is starting to take a little bit of damage let's see if we can get a surround on it now we won't be able to put the city under siege so it will be able to recover health every single turn which is slightly unfortunate all these units here will start getting a little bit of healing going um, and then we'll start moving up a new wave of units or do i wait until mobilization is done I think I could safely combine one more line infantry and then the rest of these line infantry will have to be merged um, into existing line infantry. That's why I've kind of been holding a big reserve of line infantry here because I don't want to create too many cores. I want to have armies. The more concentrated your firepower is in your units, the better. Um, the good news is I've used up all my iron so I can actually start to produce heavy chariot cores in single turns, which are some of the most efficient units to upgrade into armies. Tank armies, that is. Let's trade with Nan Madal. There's eight gold and a culture. And then we'll trade with the Cree. Brilliant. Get our little plantation. You step here. Moderate flood there. A little bit of damage to the city. That's okay. There's urbanization. Some useful things in there. Being able to build neighborhoods could be handy. I don't think we're going to go for neighborhoods this game. I think we will go for battle cry. And I think we're going to start to look to bring up more line infantry. Specifically, get around this city and surround it. Right, lovely. There is combustion with supply convoys. We are going to want to get our hands on a supply convoy. And I think I will quickly grab... Uh, a supply convoy. Oh, I can't afford it. I need a little bit more cash. Well, I guess it's about time that we did a diplomacy turn where we go through and we, uh, we get mutual open borders with everyone on the map that we can. Right, so all of the open borders are handled. I'll buy some luxuries. Um, you know, would it really be an America game if I didn't build the Statue of Liberty? It's kind of tempting. It's very, very tempting. But honestly, it doesn't really do that much for me. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and just start building some battleships. Right, we're going to take Susan T of Bologna and hope that this gives me good scouting information of the next continent. No, it did not. I was hoping there was like a bunch of land in here that it had explored. Um, really unfortunate. But at the very least, we are now getting plus one great person points per for their type for every district in my empire, which is uh, really, really nice. Let's go ahead and settle. Oh, the Maori are on the way here as well. All right, Maori, I see what your tricks are up to. Didn't realize I would be competing for these little islands with the Maori, although it does make logical sense because that's like the whole, the Maori's whole shtick is like, we settle anywhere, we do whatever we want. Screw you, that's your continent, that's our continent. Like, look what he did here. This insanity settling that he did. I mean, it's pretty logical, actually. Like, these are pretty good cities, um, but still crazy. So I can get James Watt and instantly build a factory and workshop in this district. That's actually going to be super useful. Uh, plus two production on factories. Uh, I'm going to be use him, using him in Detroit. We got a university in Cincinnati. We have the campus commercial up in industrial zone, which are the three mainline districts that we're building this game. Uh, what would be really useful for me in this extreme late game? Probably like aerodromes or encampments. We don't need an entertainment complex. I don't need a holy site. Theater Square isn't the worst thing ever. I guess we can look at some of the envoy missions and see what we could do. Want me to train a caravel, build an encampment. Okay, I can build an encampment. That's like within the realm of possibility. Right, let's sell off all the spare resources that we have to pick up a bunch of cash. So we can use that cash to go ahead and buy ourselves the supply convoy as planned. The city of Cairo is starting to fall. Not enough gold in treasury, so I need enough gold to upgrade these um, bombards to artillery. Because even a single artillery corps here, I think, can do a lot of work. Get that supply convoy over here. 
Good work, line infantry. Soon we'll have a nice little bunch of tanks to come online. We've only got a trickle of oil, so I can probably only manage a single tank core and two artillery cores, but that's going to be the plan anyway. Um, we'll go ahead and chop here. You put down a mine. Perfect. And then we will look. Five turns for James Watt. Turn down for what? So Kabasa. We are going to gain sources so that we have a higher level spy in there. And then we'll look to start maybe stealing some techs. City of Cairo is starting to take the kind of damage that would concern me. I was the owner. Can I kill this field cannon? Okay, well then we can bring this artillery forward a tile. It's in range to blast the city. What are we looking at here? Potentially enough damage soon. Let's st start bringing up the regular old field infantry. Got all the settlers in the water. Ooh, we actually ac accidentally finished a tank. Right, well I'll bring this tank down to get combined down here real quick. When the time comes, we'll do it. Bank finished in Charleston. Can I give you a tile to give you a bit of food? Unlikely, sadly, we'll probably need a food market. But I think it's fairly safe for me to start doing campus research grants now to convert my production to science. So I'll just put myself on science focus so that those science workers are under control. Because I think it's time we start transitioning now to the science victory. I think we have the military that we need to kill him. And I don't really feel like doing a domination game. I could probably pull off a domination game pretty easily here now that I'm in this position. Um, but I think it's a little bit more interesting if I attempt both a domination and science with this kind of weird build. Right, we'll remove you to there. Perfect. Set, get our trader centralized in the city that does the trading. I'd like to buy a tile. I don't think I can justify it. I definitely want to place the aqueduct in the city. Get it in position, but then go back to this. Lion infantry here took an awful lot of damage. Thankfully, I should be able to retreat him through the roads to a safe distance. Cairo now is starting to really crumble. We're going to need um, three sets of artillery to combine with my bombards over here. Um, that'll come once we have a little bit more oil. And we're continuing to trade just to maximize the total amount of gold in our empire. Um, we don't have the most efficient trade routes in the world. They are doing the job. I think now we might be able to take Cairo. We're close. I think if we hammer the city this turn, it should be an easy kill next turn. Now once Cairo falls, that starts to get very scary for Arabia because now they have no way to get back into the game. All right, we're continuing to steal gold from Arabia. Uh, my artillery is ready to level up, so I think we'll take shells here. I think we can just brute force the city. Anyone close to a level? Not really. Can you get this kill? There we go. Perfect. Cairo is mine. Uh, the nice thing is we can get some kills. Nice. Okay. Feeling good about this. I need another artillery come online. Okay, great. I mean, the sheer amount of line infantry that I'm trying to move through this tiny bit of land is genuinely terrifying. We've got most of our infrastructure up in Baltimore. Just going to quickly get the armory and the military academy repair. Repairs are ongoing in the city of Halab as well. Cairo probably needs a ton of repairs. I did a lot of damage to the city, so it'll be a while before it's really useful. But the good news is we now have a uh, level three spy, which means we'll be able to get two diplomatic visibility from spying on Arabia, which is quite powerful. Next turn, we get armies, which is very exciting. That's going to change the game for me. We chop out this industrial zone. Uh, okay, he's impressed by my populist agenda. And then we go ahead and instantly create a factory and workshop in the city. Boom. Which I, it apparently prints a whole bunch of line infantry for me. <laughs> Amazing. That's, that's cool as hell. And then we just need to get the coal power plant in here and we're good to go. Uh, and then I suppose after the coal power plant, we'll get the aqueduct. Loving. I'm actually really liking uh, playing... Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought he was going to be a bit shit. Like, I actually thought he was going to be a bit crap. Um, but it turns out he's not. He's, he's, he's interesting. He's fun to play. Uh, he's got interesting bonuses. Major drought. Industrial era ends in 10 turns. I should have another Golden Age secured. I also have mobilization now. So I can plug in Levy en masse. I think I'm happy with the current setup. Don't think I changed my government. I would like to get to ideology because I want economic union for that commercial open harbor. No, sorry. It's a five-year plan is what I want. So we're going to make our way towards ideology. We can combine units now. Um, so I guess these cuirassiers will finally become an army. And the first new artillery is moving to the front line. I guess it's time to start bringing back wounded line infantry and turn them into line infantry armies because that technically heals them a little bit when I do that. Right, yo. The line infantry armies are coming. So I need another few line infantry armies you go ahead and step and hide in there just play play it safe for a minute um let's bombard this guy can you get this kill baghdad's on the chopping block for sure move you to here you step forward you consume his soul got a conga line of line infantry still heading to the front line although i have a lot less units to micromanage now that i've started to combine them together which makes me very happy i i really like combining units together because it means i have less shit to micro <laughs> i i love it it's brilliant 
Uh, what else do I need to research? I guess it's okay to get Victor with Garrison Commander and Embrasure, so that any military units that tra are trained in his city are just better. They get a free promotion. And I guess we'll do another one of these. So my average production now has got to be absurd. Like if I look through my city, 64, 110, 80, 75, 70. Disgusting. You love to see it though, like you do. Right, you pop up there. You pop this way, you pop this way. No, he got there first. At least there's only one oil on the line there. I can get another oil by settling Whale Island over here to the north. Arabia's still begging me for peace. I think I'm going to wipe him out. That's the play. Right, first technology of a new era is completed. There's plastics, which means it should be worth it now for me to buy a uh, builder in the local area to start getting this oil and stuff online. You go ahead and crack these cities down. Make sure we place our plus five harbors, which are no, pretty damn respectable, but we'll go for the Monument Granary. These cities probably won't develop too much, to be honest with you, in the grand scheme of things, until I get a few builders over there. Uh, so now that we have plastics, I think we head straight for chemistry and get these research labs going, because we can just, we can go crazy with research labs. Now, we are consuming a lot of coal for power, so we will need to get our hands on a little bit more coal if we can, or start switching over to new types of power. We will be able to switch a little bit of production to oil, because we'll have a decent amount of oil in the bank. So, let's keep the line infantry train moving forward. Bring back line infantry that aren't armies yet, because consuming the soul of fresh line infantry gets you level ups. So the city of Halab is basically repaired. Just have to do a little bit of stuff left. And then we've also got our military academy coming on, and, Saint, and then St. Louis has its army. Brilliant. Tank army. I need to crack out just a few builders, because I've got a few strategic resources I need to get online. Right, so Golden Age secured. It's time to start breaking Baghdad. This guy already shot this turn, we can consume him, you can go to this tile, and then you get to shoot. So I managed to like manipulate and maneuver things to where I got two shots on Baghdad this turn, when I shouldn't have already got, when I should have only got one. Um, let's have a look. Envoy quests, build a caravel. I don't even know if I have caravel tech. I do. Yeah, let's quickly build a caravel. Right, so the city of Halab is fine. We have nothing we really need to do in here, so we'll just do campus research grants. We're kind of out of stuff to do until we get um, the all-important research lab tech. Oh right, I forgot to get, I forgot to renew my military alliance, oh wait, no, no I didn't, did I? Yes, I forgot to get my military alliance with the Kree, that's an extra plus five combat strength that I was missing out on. Let's pop you forward a tile, pop you forward a tile, now these, both of these can attack, I will go ahead and take crew weapons on you, you will shoot the city, so Baghdad is falling fast, dude. Um, so we probably don't need to reroute anyone else to here. We're definitely going to need to brute force our way through here though, with our line infantry. Uh, Jacob... What was it? John Jacob Astor? Is that who I just unlocked? Yeah, John Jacob Astor. He's just a bit of gold, a bit of envoys. Not a terrible, not a terrible one. Um, put a point into Muscat. Let's see, I guess two more points into Venice. A little bit more cash. And we'll hold on to that last one. So Military Academy is finished in here. We could go for more stuff. Like we could get a theater square. We could go for Eiffel Tower. We could go for a rare Great Zimbabwe game, actually. Uh, your trade routes from this city get plus two gold for every bonus resource within three tiles of the city and in the city's territory must be built adjacent to the commercial hub with a market adjacent to a cattle. It's so rare that I actually build this. <laughs> it's so rare. Um, actually, I don't think... I think I've... I think you could count the number of times that I've built the Great Zimbabwe literally on one hand. Like, genuinely less than five. That would be my estimate. And it's... Like, I would have maybe like a... 80% certainty that it's less than one hand and I would have a 100% certainty that it's less than two hands So maybe less than five definitely less than ten. So what do we got? We, we got one more kind of army up So we got all our line infantry armies together. Good. 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 This line infantry is getting pretty low on health So I think I'll take the commando promotion on him and we'll just wait a turn before we advance the city of Baghdad's about to have a bad day to get that tank to smash it I mean, here's the thing. Once you get the tanks and artillery, I mean, like, the game becomes... I wouldn't say trivial, but it becomes a lot easier. Right, campus research grants. Get lock-in science. Get all this stuff repairing in Cairo. Right, so we do the conga line of advancement. Let me suction everyone together into a single unit. And we'll do the same thing here. Good news is we do have a battleship that's capable of hitting Damietta. It's quite nice. While also being at a range of their um, defensive districts. So we're a little bit low on oil, which is causing a bit of a combat strength problem, but we are capturing cities and we're getting, we're going to be dealing with that problem very soon. All right, Baghdad's under control. Happy days. I really wish there was an automation button for settlers, like, or, or for builders rather. Um, you do get to a point in the late game where you just don't care anymore. 
and uh, microwing them just becomes like more hassle than it's worth. We're up to a healthy 371 signs per turn. Nice repairs coming in. We didn't really damage the city that we captured there very much. Got a little bit of stuff to handle. I think we just advance and then you will promote with Tortoise and we continue to advance. Let's get all of our units all up in their business. Um, you're going to take a little bit of time to heal. This artillery will bring back. You're going to become the garrison of the city so you can stay where you are. We will leave Homs probably to flip independent towards us, ideally. Ooh, we take a little damage here. There's actually really, really great pillages here. So our units are having trouble healing because of the lack of oil. So we will be able to solve that next turn. Let's make sure we buy that oil and this oil. It was like the whole goal of this enterprise was to acquire more oil. Uh, let's go ahead and put two envoys into Muscat to boost our gold income. Worth about 30 gold when we, when we get up to the next level per turn, which is uh, respectable and delectable. We trade with Venice. 13 gold per turn and an envoy with Venice. Very, very nice. We did manage to build a caravel for a quest. So heading into the next era, we'll probably focus on getting envoy quests done. And one thing we can do to heal this guy is actually combine him with a new unit, which should lower the demands for oil in my empire, um, allowing these units to naturally heal again. Right, so I think we do a wave of pillaging here. Boom, boom, boom. Just a lot of extra cash there for free for essentially blowing up things that I can repair for free later. Uh, let's also bring this tank around to where it needs to go. You go ahead and occupy that city. I have a builder. I'll send you up to the north to get those tiles that we just pillaged repaired. Everything's coming out millhouse here. Finally managed to conquer the Arabians. Uh, there is a military emergency. I'm going to vote that down as much as I can. It would be really, really bad if Congo declared war me, but I think I could handle it. All right, so the military emergency passed. It looks like it was Saladin and Coupe. Now, Kubey was not a character that I was expecting to go to war with me, but I think we can deal with Kubey very, very easily. All we need to do is to upgrade a little bit of field cannonage and then grab machine guns once we have chemistry. We're also getting replaceable parts now, which is kind of exciting. Although I definitely don't want to be taking infantry because they cost oil. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a stock exchange. We like the cash. We like the money. Detroit was settled mere turns ago and it's a 63 production city. Like, it's ridiculous. So I need my artillery to get into this. You move here, you move here, switch you there, bring you. You can attack now. Take a big old bite out of the city, big old bite out of the city. Let's rotato potato, get our units to doom cycle around. We got basically everything repaired in here. What do we got in terms of buildings? Just a holy site campus. Okay, not bad. Very odd placement of the entertainment complex. I really wish I could like decipher the AI's brain and just be like, what the hell are you doing inside there? It's just like early 80s techno. Did techno even exist in the 80s? I feel like techno was like a 90s thing with the synthesizer and stuff. Hold on, now I have to look up my history of techno. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Techno originated in the 80s, at least according to Google. I did not have my timeline off. The good news is we could theoretically take out this city if we wanted to. I don't know if that's going to be on the plans though. The annoying thing is that there's a bunch of apostles and missionaries running around my territory and all my trade routes are now kind of vulnerable to potential Ma uh, Maorian attack. There's replaceable parts giving us really nice boost to our farms. All of our farms now get plus one food adjacency for every farm they're adjacent to. Pasture improvements receive plus one production. We can also build the food market which is plus four food and plus two when powered um, for a total of six which is pretty respectable in cities if you need to grow them. I don't really need to grow my city so I'm not too concerned with that. I will start moving field cannons down to protect Cincinnati. I feel like Chicago is actually a prime example of a city that needs a neighborhood to get a food market. All right, so we blast Damietta. Boom, blast Damietta. You pillage for health. Doom cycle, doom cycle, doom cycle. Um, where are my tank at? Move you out of the tank's way so the tank can be in position to attack the city because the tank will do the most damage. Big damage there on the tank. Struggling to find tiles that aren't improved inside my empire. Theology is now complete. That was a plus one envoy type situation that I did. Blast the city, blast the city. We do have a promotion available on that guy. Um, let's go ahead and crash some lion infantry into the city and then finish it with the tank and I would call that a fairly successful war. We're going to leave them with Damascus. I'm tempted to take Homs off them. That is flipping independent which means I can take it without any extra grievances. So yeah, I think I'll yoink Homs, get my artillery in the area and then I'll move my supply convoy to help out this artillery so that it can blast away, move and attack. We'll keep that city at Damietta. And now we head towards ideology and I think from here on out it's just a matter of cleaning up homes and then heading for a space uh, space race victory. And I think that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. We'll just completely finish off the space race. It'll be a quick and easy finish, I think. But definitely an interesting and powerful game. Um, I have a lot of respect for the free infantry unit thing. That is kind of game defining, actually. I still don't think America is like a particularly strong sieve. 
um, with Abraham Lincoln in tow. But, you know, you, you know, if you get the right situation, a decent start, and you have good, you know, relatively okay look, I mean, you can make something work here. That's all she wrote. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.